Well, we're coming through the coldest day, at least the day with the coldest temperatures so far this season. You have to go all the way back to last spring before you find a day that had a temperature as cold as it was this morning. We bottomed out in the teens in many spots officially at the airport, which tends to run warmer. Uh, it was colder. Now the coldest so far uh, before tonight was 20 or before last night was 23 degrees back on November 28th, but this morning's low dropped all the way to 21, making it the coldest morning since March here in St. Louis. So uh, yeah, cold night, but it is not going to be that cold tonight. In fact, going forward, we have nothing anywhere near that cold across the Midwest. We do have some clouds, but they're high thin cirrus clouds, just barely thick enough to notice in the skies over the St. Louis area. And as you wake up tomorrow morning, it looks like a dry morning, a cool to cold morning or sunrise time at 715 AM. If you're getting ready, uh, getting up early to walk the dog before you head off to work, bundle up temperatures will be in the 30s. But look at this fast warm up by 9 o'clock. We're 38 and by 10 o'clock, we're already in the low 40s on our way to the mid, maybe upper 50s by tomorrow afternoon. The cold air will be gone. You can see some of those clouds right there. The moon's back behind those clouds, but you can still see the moon. Otherwise, it's mostly clear. Same view from up in Litchfield from Max Fire and Safety overlooking downtown Litchfield in Illinois. And another view of the moon this evening. This one's looking westbound uh, from Forest Park in the Boathouse. Winds are fairly quiet. They have settled down considerably after yesterday, but still a little bit of a breeze out there south southeast at 10, enough to give us a wind chill of 28 degrees. No rain or snow to report today. And as I mentioned last hour, there's been zero snow all fall and now into the early winter season. Uh, and if it doesn't snow between now and the 23rd of December, which it's not, it will be the latest first trace of snow uh, in recorded history in St. Louis. 43 was your high, 44 is the normal high here in St. Louis. High clouds, but look, a lot of high clouds. There's just nothing coming out of any of these. You have to go all the way up to southern Canada to find a few snow flurries or way out into New Mexico to find a couple of sprinkles, and that's it. Here's the bigger story. This energy spinning on shore. This pocket of energy is going to drop south. There's another pocket that's already broken off into parts of Arizona and New Mexico. That actually becomes our rainmaker, the first of two and it comes in Thursday night and into Friday morning. Future cast tonight showing the advance of cloud cover ahead of that system. Again, a lot more clouds tomorrow than we saw today, but no rain, and it will definitely be milder with southerly breezes pushing temperatures well into the 50s in Missouri. Temperatures will stay a little bit cooler in Illinois, 40s to low 50s heading into tomorrow. The extended forecast here with Futurecast Thursday night into Friday morning. That's the solid rain zone and really focusing on the Friday morning drive. If you're driving out of the St. Louis area for the holidays on Friday morning, plan on wet weather in the morning, early afternoon. Then that moves out. Saturday actually looks pretty dry, except for maybe a little drizzle or sprinkle. But then all the attention turns to this next system as we hit Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It is all rain here. There might be a little bit of snow out here in Nebraska by Christmas evening, but none of that gets anywhere close to St. Louis. A few clouds tonight near freezing for the low. More clouds than sun tomorrow. High temperature in the afternoon will push 56 degrees. The extended forecast kicking on and focusing on those two chances for rain. Thursday night into Friday and then again Christmas Eve day into Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day. And it may actually hold on until Tuesday as well. Temperatures all the way through the period in the 50s.